just so you know, you know thanks for me. Um, as my friend did a lot of talk about poverty, um, I would just like to turn the turn on some some poverty in this, um, which are very important. Right, the primary problems that, I, that, that the Middle East are experiencing, and one of the main reasons why I like to talk about them, is the problem caused with oil and poverty. These are two ideas which are commonly not associated together, as really the common person would think. Well, if we have oil, we can sell it, and obviously we, our country will prosper because of the money made. Well, that, that is very wrong um, when we talk about the Middle East. Um, I'll make a number of points to support this argument and why nuclear is, is, is the answer. Because oil, the, and the money made from oil, is very much in link with tyranny. And, um, and the money made from oil is distributed amongst a small percentage of uh, the population. And I'll talk about that as we go on. So my first point is that nuclear technology promotes economic development. And there's no argument against that. France has demonstrated that very clearly, and it now relies on its own nuclear power. 80% of its power is, is um, from, from its own nuclear power stations, and therefore it, it hardly needs to uh, source any, source any um, power from outside. Therefore, it is almost independent. Um, these, this um, nuclear um, de de development will increase will reduce the burden of, of buying oil from countries like Russia and um, <clears throat> increase the development of um, these Middle Eastern nations which are, at the moment, still very poor. And uh, obviously, with that, they, with the increase in economic development, they will, um, will, will no doubt see a, um, a decrease in extremism. My second point is um, energy independence. Um, well, we, we see countries, um, vastly developed countries such as China, um, they are very dependent on countries such as Russia to provide energy. Um, this also applies to uh, nations such as Iran. If we can implement nuclear technology and, and nuclear power generation, this will reduce the independence, this will reduce the dependence um, from countries. And this and this advantage means that there's less, less leverage, uh, political leverage, um, <coughs> associated with. Um, also, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the problems stem from, um, stem from the, of this political leverage. Um, means that this means that um, we have um, many international problems um, with leadership. Okay, I would just like to give an overview to, uh, to, to everyone about um, the situation in the Middle East, uh, starting with Egypt and Jordan. We have, they are two developing nations um, trying to incorporate nuclear technology, at the moment trying to develop that. Um, Egypt is, a very, is still quite a poor um, nation um, with increasing fundamentalism. And um, Jordan um, is still... It's, it's still poor, but it is, it's a very stable, and, al and both are al allied with um, the US and the UK. So these two nations are trying to are making an effort to, to move over to nuclear and, uh, as a part of the energy en generation um, to, to develop and to develop uh, independence of, um, of, of oil and to develop um, greater growth rates. Also, we have Turkey, which is allied to the US, and also wants to join the EU and, and made pledges um, last year and, um, and hopefully will be joining in the very near future. They are trying to develop nuclear power with the intention to increase their, increase their, again, increase their growth and reduce their, their dependence on oil from countries such as Russia, which is... Uh, another example is Israel. Um, very closely, well, a country that is seen as the Western country of the, of the Middle East, and very closely linked with the uh, US and um, a strong ties with the UK, is, is in a situation where it needs, needs new, it has nuclear uh, weapons, and it needs these to 
protect itself from uh, the surrounding countries, which are pro uh, which have a large threat. Um, in the past, where they had conventional advantages in warfare, now this is becoming more and more diminished, and the, the risk to the security countries becoming ever, ever greater. Therefore, uh, Israel really depends on these nuclear weapons, and, and if we if we propose to ban this, all hell will break loose. Uh, as we know. And again, um, uh, Israel w is planning to rely on, um, to a great extent, on nuclear power um, as to become independent um, from Iran. Rely on oil. Lastly, Iran. Um, the, as we, as, as, as you all obviously know, the problem out in Iran. Um, experts say the best way to progress from progress from that is to promote steady growth. Um, is, and and the way to resolve the, this um, fundamentalist regime is again to use, to, to use nuclear nuclear en energy generation. Um, uh, we have the uh, currently even the people on the ground in, in Iran are which know a lot lot about and ask about the situation and, not, and are not happy with the fundamentalist regime which is in power, even though it is supposedly a democracy, um, they even support the um, development of nuclear power in Iran, despite 